one to eye to eye with me, Galvin Berkeley. Well, first item to discuss is the Kansas City, Missouri School District. The Kansas City, Missouri School District has a big stir up going on with its superintendent, and that is that he has resigned. But now we just got into our, uh, our information center that he has found a new job in Detroit, being a superintendent over in Detroit, which we wish him the best of luck. And this latest news stirred up because of uh, contracts between the superintendent and the board president. And the board president must have got into uh, the bidding process and how the bidding process wasn't efficient or one way or another and that made a big fight with that but I think there's more to the story than what's been told to us and what's been told to other uh, members in the media that we talk to so that's just that I think it's also older members on the board that want to still have it their way and it's not going to keep happening like this. Either they take over it's on its way or a uh, possible uh, big decision from another superintendent is going to affect what the district might be doing in terms of progress. So that's just the way it is in the school district. But I do believe that the old members need to be need to resign off the board because they're not doing their jobs efficiently. They're not, they don't offer any new fresh new ideas for the board, for the school district to thrive and survive as it should. So that's that. And that, uh, we're going to have more on that as it develops hopefully on the next show. So stay tuned with us and we'll have the latest here on i to i Okay, our next topic is the Country Club Plaza curfew and the situation that has went on a few weeks past. Parents, it's time for you to step in. I'm just going to say that now. Time for you to stop not showing up to into your child's whereabouts. It's time for you to start showing up and knowing where your child is at. You're accountable for them as well and they are accountable for themselves when they are around other people. Now I'll explain that in just a few. We had this, we reported on this situation when I did the other show uh, here online on youtube.com and we were, and I have reported that a young youngster had gotten himself into trouble and he went into jail and got charged for starting the brawl, starting a brawl on the country club, but that's one year ago. We're still on this same issue. However, it's a mob on the plaza. Now, I'm going to put it in a, in a uh, different twist. I'm so sick of the media putting, uh, I'm so sick of the media trying to always have it as a breaking story. It's not a breaking story. It's nothing new. But that tells you how much the media does their job. But, uh, you know, they always have to put our black children's faces on TV just to get the good ratings or whatever. And that's wrong. I don't care how you look at it. They may was doing wrong well as well, but y'all wrong for keep putting their faces on TV and all that. So, uh, the weekend, this past, the past weekend, uh, Kansas City Mayor and the Council had put together an ordinance, and that ordinance says that your child cannot, your 15-year-old or under 15 years old cannot be out at 9 o'clock. After 9 p.m., your child gets picked up, goes to the community center, and our studios is right by a community center where that is being a uh, holding center for teens. And uh, many, and many uh, have said this past weekend that there was nothing going on. So 
which we all know that there is something going on. Trust me, I'm not going. I'm not stupid. I wouldn't put you yesterday. There's something else happening somewhere else. Long as it ain't on the plaza or any, and this goes for the ordinance curfew goes in effect not just at the country club plaza but other entertainment districts across the city. So with that said, parents, you need to be in control because your child. You can get that five up to five hundred dollar fine. Up to five hundred dollars. If I made a big mistake there, saying five hundred dollars, it's up to five hundred dollars. So my apologies at that. Now, uh, as well as that little situation with the mob going on at the plaza, three shots was fired near fifty, about fifty yards near where the Kansas City mayor was standing and uh, luckily the mayor did not get hurt in that terrible accident. We'll be right back here on my God. Welcome back, everyone. Well, this is getting too close to the end of our show. Now, on the topic of sagging. Now, the term is used usually on fashion. The terminology is used on fashion and how it is. And our, our team here that, that puts together the graphics and things like that. They was they looked at me and I looked at them. I told them that's that's just disgusting. How our young men go out in this world, they have their pants hanging off their butt, and nothing is ever done about it, except for they don't get a job. They don't get any further opportunities because they didn't show themselves right. They didn't look presentable. And a portion of that is you don't look presentable. That is nasty. That is disgusting. And we've had a poll on Facebook about that issue. Do you think that sagging is, uh, what do you think about sagging? And we had four different choices on there. Some of you voted, and, and here's the funny part, no gentleman voted on it. That's the funny part. But ladies, all ladies on, our, on this survey have said that it's disgusting. No one wants to look at your dirty drawers. I'm just saying what I what was the uh, survey had on there, and it's unfair that we don't say nothing about. It. But let me say this before I get off the topic: our young men need to realize that sagging your pants only gets you nowhere. It does nothing for you. It doesn't give you any kind of opportunities for you, and it's just nasty. And you know, the things they even, and here's the funny part, they even make pants skinny, and we looked at looked this up. It's skinny jeans, and I'm sure you're going to see this in the graphic. It's it is skinny jeans sagging. And they made a little thing for it to say. That is, I don't know how the hell they get on it. I'm sorry when I say this. I don't know how the hell do you make something like that. Prison originated from, I mean, I've just been saying it. Sagging originated from the jail cell. Why is it that we want to carry that kind of uh, baggage in our community? Why is it? But I blame that on the parents because some of the parents of these young children, and of course you see on the graphics, the yell, uh, yell, uh, little children, excuse me, I'm tired, little children are on this trend of 
sag in their pants. And it's nasty. What are you teaching your kids about looking decent? About putting your best foot forward? Not a doggone thing when you allow that to happen. I don't care what the hell you say to me about that. That is just nasty. It is disrespectful. And I don't get that. But let's move on because I spent too much time on that there. Our funny pics is from uh, the Kellogg's uh, Frosted, the Kellogg's commercial where the young ones, where the old people, and you'll see, get the point of the uh, commercial when you see it. This was aired back in 1997. And this was a serial commercial where little ones are dressed in adult clothes and they are, well, little children dressed up in adult clothes. So take a look at this and we'll be right back for our final, for my final word. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you If you're young at heart For as rich as you are It's much better by far To be young at heart Good for you, sure But you really want the big sweet crunch That brings out the kid in you Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats If you are amongst the very young at heart Well Ladies and gentlemen, it's my time for the final words. I get the final thing. It's about time. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you all. It's been a pleasure to come back on the air after a year being off the air, being silent. But it, no, it was it wasn't me being silent. Just doing a new show. But I won't be on here too long now. I will be on here for approximately three months time. That is, this, is, this show is a series, so this is not anything that's going to be permanent, permanent in any way, shape, form, or fashion. But I thank you for joining us today here on I to I, and it's time to have an I to I conversation, so thank you for joining us. Have a good day, everyone, and see you next time.